This is the Xfinity Sports Desk, brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. So we love us some Yogi Berra, but what does his turning 90 have to do with anything? He's catching up to you. Okay. Huh? Just nothing. What? Yogi Berra turns 90 years old today. The Hall of Fame Yankees catcher and manager will always be known as the ultimate team player. But we love him for his Yogiism. So it's fitting that on the eve of this Caps Game 7, we say, it ain't over till it's over. The Caps prepping this morning at Kettler before heading up to New York. It's simple. Winner moves on, loser goes home. For the Rangers and Caps, it's deja vu all over again. Thank there you. you okay. The Rangers bounced the Caps from the playoffs in now. Game 7s in 2012 and 2013. Head coach Barry Trotz wasn't with the Caps then, and he certainly sees no reason to go back and watch those defeats. Well, a player three years ago was a different player. I mean, I can... Sergey, or Sergey, uh, Sergey right here is a way better guy now uh, <laughs> since he's had a year with me. But, um, but uh, Kuzi, uh, Kuzi and Bert are different players than they were, you know, three, four months ago. So I'm different than I was two years ago. So it has really no relevance. I'm just concerned about what we have to work with tomorrow. Yogi Berra also said. If you come to a fork in the road, take it. Yeah. <laughs> Wizards and Hawks, they are a fork in their series. Now tied at two games apiece, John Wall missed his third straight game last night. But encouraging news from today's practice, for the first time in almost a week, Wall dribbled with his Ooh. injured left hand. Yeah, okay. You see Wall's left non-shooting hand there, wrapped considerably less than we've seen recently. The swelling's down, Wall shooting with his right hand at practice today, keeping that left hand off to the side. He'll have that wrist and hand reevaluated before a decision is made on his status for tomorrow's game five. Last night, though, Paul Pierce could not play hero for the second straight game, missing a three, potentially game tying three pointer with five seconds to go. But the bigger problem was the hot start by the Hawks, says Randy Whitman. They came out super aggressive uh, and, and intent on trying to get to the basket. And so. We've got to do a better job of that, number one. And I thought we did in the second half. We, we finally got our feet grounded underneath us. First half, uh, we were all over the board uh, from a defensive standpoint. So uh, we can play better defense, and we're going to have to play better. Oh, we're going to keep up with this Yogi Berra thing. The future ain't what it used to be. Kind of actually makes sense for the, for the Redskins. The future actually looks very bright with a sharp new general manager and now a new top-notch offensive lineman. Today, the Redskins officially signed first-round pick Brandon Scherf. He was the fifth overall pick in this year's draft, the six-foot five, 319-pounder. Expected to start at right tackle opposite Trent Williams. With Scherf's signing today, all 10 selections from the 2015 draft are now under contract. Redskins rookie mini camp begins this Friday. All right, our final Yogi is on baseball is 90% mental. The other half is physical. <laughs> Numbers don't exactly work out there, but we know what he's trying to say, right? The Nats seem to have the mental and physical all working for them recently. They won 11 of their last 13 and the bats they have heated up. Last night in Arizona, 15 minutes. hits, 11 Maybe runs 10. in their win over the Diamondbacks. Zero Home runs from Denard Span and Ryan Zimmerman. And El Escobar, man, he's unreal right now. Five for five for the second time in a week. Wilson Ramos, he's on a 14-game hitting streak. First pitch tonight at 940. Finally, you should always go to other people's funerals. Otherwise, they won't come to yours. That's my final one. I was running out of them. He only has like 10 we all know. You're doing good. We must not forget Dick Mata, though, in terms of the caps tonight. Mm -hmm. Help me out. Y'all know? No. Come on. I don't know where you're going. But ain't over till Truly. the fat lady says. All right, now, well, well, we got to say everything, so, everything. Yeah. All right. She's warming up now. All right. Going to be a big night tomorrow. Let's hope on our side. Thanks, it Diana. It is indeed. That's our broadcast for now. Night News coming up next. We hope we'll see you for News 4 at 11. Have a good evening.